How do you shower in the van? That's probably the most common question we get. So in this video, I intend to show you why you don't need a shower in your van. Let's start with the trigger warning. If you're the type of person who can't live without a shower, then this is obviously not for you. But by all means, keep watching and be horrified. Only kidding, I realise that most viewers of this video will just want to be efficient and keep clean. Here in the UK, it's not easy to find a place where you can shower outside. I wouldn't do that even if I could though, as it's too much faff. If you've seen any of my other tips, then you'll know I like to find the easiest, most efficient way to do things. In the past, our ancestors used to have no bathrooms and they didn't waste a drop of water because it all had to be carried. Our van only has a 20 litre water tank and that can last us several days. We buy the cheapest bottled water we can find from the supermarket. A litre of water weighs a kilogram, so we don't haul around any more than we need. Less weight in the van means our diesel goes much further. To keep clean, you just need a pan to heat some water and a flannel. We've been using these Life Venture Trek towels for years. Any flannel will do, but we find these dry really quickly. They're lovely and soft, and they last for years. To wash, we just cover the back of the pan with water and warm it on the stove. I use the smallest gas ring on its lowest setting and just move the pan on and off if the water starts to get cold. We use disposable wet wipes for any dirty bits and the flannel for your hair, face and body. Be careful not to get the water too hot. Just soak the flannel in the water and squeeze it back into the pan. I don't use any soap. I start with my face and the feeling of a hot flannel on your kisser is the best part of the wash. Next, I do my hair and give it a nice vigorous rub, which also feels great. I find just doing this without any soap keeps my hair clean for the whole trip. Just keep rinsing the flannel and squeezing it out and wash all the way down to your feet. Next, I turn up the heat and get the water hot. I pour a small amount into this metal cup and I use that to wet shave. Put all your flannels, dishcloth and sponge on the top, turn up the heat and let it boil vigorously. Steam them for two minutes. It hardly uses any gas as there's so little water in the pan. The steam is sterile and it kills bugs and stops the flannels smelling. This is a vital part of the system. Leave this out and your cloths will be gross in a couple of days. You can just let the pan cool down until all the steam is condensed, but if you're in a hurry, open the pan outside if it's possible. All this now sterile dirty water goes into our tiny grey waste tank in the sink. The pros of this system are it keeps you clean, saves water, it's very quick, it's the best way to wash on those freezing cold mornings and you sterilise all your cloths. An added bonus is you won't need a towel to dry yourself. The cons are there's no super sexy outdoor photos for Instagram. People might think you're dirty, but you may have noticed I don't waste time worrying about what other people think. I only care what Carol thinks and she's very happy with the way we wash. Finally, we do have a battery operated shower, which Carol sometimes uses just to wash her hair when she wants the full spa effect. If you want to see that in action, see this video. Thanks for watching. Please share this with anyone you think might benefit. And while you're at it hit that subscribe button and do give us a like for saving you water and keeping you clean